channel. I don't have a haul video today. I have more of a getting into the Halloween season video type today. Um, normally people tell you like, oh, these are movies you should watch for Halloween season. And they're all just your average, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with those, but I'm here to give you some other options that aren't necessarily, you know, you know, horror, they're horror, you know, spooky, you know, creepy, just to give you something a little bit other than, you know, your mainstream stuff that you see throughout the entire Halloween season coming up. Some, you know, for those that don't just want to watch Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Hellraiser, like, I mean, I love those franchises and, and but there, there are other options out there. Okay, so we're going to start off with three picks. Um, one of these, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, but we're gonna, these three are going to be, um, you know, more family friendly, kid friendly, or if you just want to reconnect with your inner spooky child for the season. Um, at first glance, this movie does not look like a Halloween movie, but it really is. It's fun size. Think adventures in babysitting on Halloween night. Um, so basically, she's in charge of watching her little brother on Halloween, and somehow they he gets lost in a, in a, um, well, they're out trick or treating and they just spend the entire night trying to find him. Like I said, similar to Adventures in Babysitting, but this movie is so fun. And just, you know, seeing all the different costumes at Halloween, you know, it's, it's really fun. Um, like I said, yeah, it's, she gets stuck baby her little, her little brother, just when she thinks it can't get any worse, he disappears. Now with the help of three unusual friends, she must find the little troublemaker before her mom discovers that he is missing. Together, they're in for a night filled with hilarious adventure and king-size fun. But it doesn't say it's a Halloween movie it, or it takes place on Halloween night. But trust me, like this is a fun, you know, you know, watch with your kids or just, you know, like I said, get in touch with your inner spooky child as if you're an adult. But this is a great Halloween movie. It does not look like a Halloween movie, but it is. It really is. Trust me. It's fun. Um, next, we're going to go with Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. I'm pretty sure this is by far my favorite um, Scooby-Doo animated feature. Then it would be Legend of the Vampire, um, The Ghoul School, and then Zombie Island, um, and then just other ones after that. But this one is my favorite. You know, it's got the Hex Girls. Um, just fun. It takes place there in, uh, are they in Salem? I don't remember. But one of the characters on here, Ben Ravencroft, is voiced by Tim Cur Tim Curry. So they're the, you know, they go to this town. If you haven't seen it, it's kind of hard to explain, but they go to this town because they hear of like this horror writer, um, Ben Ravencroft. He get they get, I'll just read the back of the book instead of trying to describe it. I mean, the back of the case instead of trying to describe it. Um, when the gang meets up with famous fright writer Ben Ravencroft, he invites them to New England for his hometown's big autumn harvest festival. Things take a supernatural detour when they learn the place is haunted by Ben's ancestor, Sarah. Will the mystery reveal that Sarah was a good-hearted healer or a spell-casting witch? Before you can say Scooby Snacks, the gang is on the case, tangling with bumbly mummies, monster turkeys, and zoinks, a ghost, ghostly secret hidden in the Ravencroft family past. Grooving to the tunes of the movie's rocking band, the Hex Girls, and Billy Ray Cyrus performing the Scooby-Doo theme song, it's Scooby-Doo at its spellbinding, spine-tingling, super sleuthing best. So, I mean, those, it, it's pretty accurate, like I said. Um, this is by far my favorite Scooby-Doo animated feature, so get to it. And if you did not grow up watching this movie, I don't know if we can be friends. You might be too old when this movie came out, but... We got The Worst Witch again, another featuring another movie featuring Tim Curry, you know, as the Grand High Wizard, you know, just it in all its 80s, you know, glory. It's just a fun little Halloween movie with Furza Bullock, who would go on to be Nancy Downs and The Worst, not The Worst Witch, I mean The Craft, but, you know, if you have not heard or seen of this one, highly recommend. Like I said, I've seen it since I was a kid and I just I just love this movie it's so much fun okay that's it for the more like you know family kid oriented friendly and then we're going to go on to more other more 
you know, R-rated stuff. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It is so fun and campy. I just, I mean, you got, basically, you play this video game, and if you die in the game, you die in real life. Um, almost identical to how you die in the game. The only way to watch this is the unrated version, because um, the rated version kind of sucks. Anyway, um, I could probably recite this movie to you forwards and backwards because that's how many times I've seen it. That's how much I believe this is such an underrated horror gem, in my opinion. And it is from... Can't see. There's no year. Or I'm just blind. Tony, let me borrow your magnifying glass. <sighs> I don't know. I want to say like 2002? 2001? Can't be any later than 2003, that's for sure. It says 2006. Really? Is it that old? Don't know. But anyway, stay alive. Um, Frankie Muniz is in this. That's probably like the most like standout person in this. Like that you know is most well known in this. Besides, um, what's her name's brother? Angela, Angelina Jolie's brother. Hmm. I just know it's a Jolie if he's in this. But Stay Alive, such a fun, campy, like horror movie, survival, um, gets you into the Halloween spirit. Because like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a movie that's set on Halloween for Tino to get you in the in the season. Um, if you don't mind reading subtitles, this movie gave me the creeps when I first saw it. So this I would recommend as well because like when I watched it, I was just like when I got to the end but we got Del Toro's The Orphanage. If you've seen it do not give away the ending but just the little boy with the little sack on his on his head. Uh, I don't know I love a good ghost stories. I would say um, witch theme movies, vampires, and then ghosts in that order is like my preference of movies you know. Um, than slashers hmm. unless they're in one of those categories but anyway as I digress um this is in Spanish um but it has subtitles but I think it's more powerful if you leave the subtitles on and watch it in Spanish but it is such a great atmospheric creepy movie I can't I don't want to give anything away other than that because it the, the twist at the end which is why it has a four star rating just um let me see what it says in the back returning to her childhood home a mysterious seaside orphanage laura and her family knowingly unleash a long forgotten evil spirit now thrust into a chilly nightmare laura must confront the memories of her past before the ghosts of the orphanage destroy her destroy, destroy her and everything she has ever loved that's all i will give away um so that's, that's all i'll give away but if you're into ghost stories and like moody, spooky horror movies, The Orphanage, recommend. Um, next is, I don't ever, I don't think I've ever seen one of these movies, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I want to talk about how fun Once Bitten is Jim Carrey's first movie. Um, it ain't an 80s movie unless there's a dance-off. And then there's a dance-off at the Halloween dance. You know, if you've seen this movie, you know that it's just a fun, cheesy 80s campy movie. So this will get you definitely in the Halloween spirit. Um, that's basically it. You know, just fun. It's not really scary. It's just something to like lift your spirits. Ha, huh? pun intended. Um, but we got one spin. And then last but not least is this movie I saw a long time ago on TV. It's actually technically a Lifetime movie, but I saw it and then I saw that it had an official DVD release and I just remember it for being a made-for-TV movie for it being creepy and like it really just, you know, gave me jump scares and I'm like, how can a TV movie do that? It's very rare. But this one stars Leighton Meester. I don't even know how to spell it. It's pronounced her dang name when she was like the it person of the 2000s, but it's called The Haunting of Sorority Row. For a made-for-TV movie, it gave me the creeps, and it was, looking back, it's just a fun movie to watch, and if you come across it, like, on TV, or if you see, like, the actual DVD release of this, I think it's, 
I think it's like 11 bucks on eBay. I don't remember, but I remember like recording it because it came home late and I thought it was decently made, you know, little ghost story of a movie from Lifetime. It was decent. Um, so basically that is it. That is all I have. Um, just fun movies that, you know, get you, if you come across them and you see them, give them a, give them a chance. But that is all.